<laughs> Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Grant actually sent me to secure the press. Uh, it ain't worth it. We ought to pull out. You keep spewing that sulfur. I'm liable to leave you to the rafts. What my well-meaning idiot of a brother intends to say is, we appreciate the assist. Okay, well, get back to Amber We're Heights. I'll take it from there. We ain't leaving our men behind, and they ain't moving on their own. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Shit. Any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Okay, got it. I'll see if I can find him. Thankfully, we just managed to locate the twins, and at this point, they're now leaving without the med kit. And since their medic has been out for hours, it's a good, it's a good, good feeling that 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 medic is dead. So let's go ahead and kill off these monsters, and then we can definitely get on with the mission. Holy shit! Okay. 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 Oh, I hate when they spit acid on you. Like... Those screams are legit screams. Cause once it hits your skin, that is it. You are burning. Oh. Alright, got one. You good? You good? I got you, don't worry. Damn, you hear that? You hear the acid slowly eating my skin? Thankfully, I have enough armor where it doesn't affect my health too much, but it's bad. Alright, let me check on the medics, see what's going on. How much you want to bet that medic is beyond dead? Oh shit! I just love using the the ultimate off of my companions. Like that is so cool to watch. Oh shit! Oh, this ugly ass thing is not giving up. Nice. Let me know in the comments below which attack do you like the most between Yoka and Parvati. Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, so... One down. One down, but it's okay. Because there's no Nyoki. Okay, good. Damn, I hate when acid's in my face. It's annoying. Alright, I am hoping for the best, but I'm preparing for the worst, so. Oh, shit. Alright, well, I got it. Fucking sucks that the medic was killed, and we weren't able to reach them on time, but... Let me report to the twins, that way they can actually get the fuck out. Last thing I need is for them to get her injured, so... Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, okay. Some weapon mods. Some... Other stuff. Let me just tell the bad news, that way... 
they can also tell Graham that he's lost another person. Any luck out there? I found your trauma kit. Your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Sweet. Alright, let's go and repair the printing press and then we'll head back. So let's go through here. Oh, Lord. You guys ready? Let's head in. Holy shit, another bloodbath. I mean, they're not going to use any of these, so... Why not? A draft of different safety announcements from when the press was still operational. Most of them have been crossed out. Safety guards are there to guard your safety. Replacement limbs are no replacements at all. Let's convey safety standards around our conveyor. Don't be a fool around their spools. Corny, but okay. So we have to go through all of these. Okay. Let me go and repair my weapons. All right. And we'll be good to go from here. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, that's a horrible shot, really? Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Oh, shit. This is a whole bunch of craziness here. Oh, shit. Oh, I got a big boy right here. Oh my god. Oh, and I got acid on my face. That's cool. Thank god I have companions that actually know how to fight. Oh my god. Yeah, these burns. These burns. They're crazy. I hate it, but... I have a perk where every time I make a kill, I get some health back, so it's actually pretty convenient in this case. Because I know for a fact I would've been dead if it wasn't for that perk. Okay, seems like there's more over here. That's the last of them. Nice. This is nice. Okay. Alright, let me check this room out. Oh, it leads back to the conveyor belt. Alright, so the printing press is up there. Let's walk up these stairs and... Ooh, what's here? The bathroom. <gasps> I always like to use my companions first, so whatever damage is left to do, that's when I come in. Look at that! They were hogging up all the food! What a little bitch! Like, I could have used this food for myself. I don't know why y'all need it. Is that cereal? Ooh. Some liquor? Oh my god. This is nice. Okay, let me see here. Holy shit, there's so much stuff that I can pick up from. I know my companions were just standing there thinking, Damn, you really need all this? Yes, I need all this. Shut up. Stop judging. Besides, half the shit that I pick up, I sell anyways. That's how I got a lot of money, so... Who cares? How's this? 
No, we are not celebrating Terry's birthday. Terry's dead, folks. I know he meant a lot to everyone here, myself included, but let his untimely demise be a lesson about safety in the workplace. Don't pit the candidates. What a fucking asshole. To all employees of Terra One Publications, yes, the rumors are true. We are leaving. The board has decided to cut their losses and operate on Terra Two instead. In accordance with the evacuation orders, we are to await a shuttle out of Cascadia. When we get word that our ride is on the way, we'll shutter this facility, pack everything up, and lock the door on the way out. Until then, however, we are expected to continue working. What? Are you kidding me? I'm sure reassignments are forthcoming, but that's not an excuse to slow down. We still have magazines to publish, people. Our customers are eager to find out what happens in Distant Hunter number 112. Okay, so... This notice issued on January 12, 2343 serves as the public denouncement of Terra One as a feasible workplace environment. Due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsustainability of its natural flora for use in human consumption, the Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board has officially enacted a hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra One. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra One will be officially considered illegal territory. As this is a anonymous decision, any corporation caught operating on Terra One after the evacuation period will face fines and possible disbarment, as defined in Halcyon Code 22.1. I'm glad I don't work. Uh, I don't work for corporations like that anymore. I feel like not only do they not care, but. Their stupidity is like nine times worse because of it. Okay, let me see here. Nice! It works. Alright, at this point, let's go to Graham so we can see what else we need to do. If any. From what I've seen. If you'll just listen... No, no more listening, no more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. She's right. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? The printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Yes, the Vanois are on their way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder... We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Okay, not a problem. And I know for a fact a couple of people are, a couple of people are a little bit unhappy with how Graham is leading the pack, and I can't blame them. I mean, Yes, I know you want to preach the word, the gospel, but if it means sacrificing people, at that point, if you have most of your crew gone, then how are they able to spread your word? Honestly. Oh. Sorry. Anyways, Zora, what is... what's on your mind? Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. Okay. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Bella came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out of town. You mean this is the same place? Right. 
Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, that nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby rap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. Oh no. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. Okay, so the Amber Heights gate. Right. The access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is, if this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain, all that blood is on their hands. Hmm. A random door code doesn't sound useful. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Okay, so go to the relay station. See if the code's useful. Anything else? Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. Of course. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Right, I'm on it. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. What the hell happened here? This... this is new. The way the edges are burnt, I guess people did this, not the wilds. Question is, why would they do this? This is insane. First... The massacre mystery and all this. All right, I guess our next lead would be to go down there. What happened here? We ought to be quick about this. Yeah, you're telling me. That was this smuggler tunnel. Okay. There's so much. Blood around here. A trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. Huh, so marauders were here. Were they trying to like steal something? Eat people? Both? Like, this is strangely unusual. And then there's blood over here. Huh. Did I just walk into some sort of a murder scene that I don't know about? Trail of blood, so... I guess I'll follow it? Yeah? Maybe? Nah, this isn't it. Trail of blood. Maybe it has something to do with... This right here. I'm going in. Yo, what the fuck did we walk into? You kidding me? I can't do anything about these? Not a peep for me. You are telling me. Oh, nice. Oh shit, shit. Ooh. These traps are no joke. the fuck's going- oh! Oh! 
this is, uh, wait, what's this? During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Choice is yours. Suffering too many corrosive burns has made you weak against corrosive damage. Uh, no, I don't want to be weak. I don't want to be weak against corrosion, because that would be a pain in the ass to deal with, you know? This is going to be a pain. How am I supposed to... Hold on. I like how I'm just switching my weapons. Um, is this... No, that's not any way for me to disarm. Alright, I'm jumping. We Be careful. Be careful, please. Um. Oh, you just went through it. Como si nada. I'm impressed. Wow. And I found a weapon here, too. So, whoever was part of that little gunfight most likely must have ran in here. That would be my biggest theory. These mines and traps are a pain in the ass, but I'd rather shoot them and be safe than having to... Stay back. Whoa. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. Okay, How'd big boy. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Forget about that. What are you doing in this cave? Hiding from the marauders that hit us, obviously. Now your turn. Let me take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. I want to know what happened here. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Okay, well, you think they're dead? The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client, too. Where'd the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Okay. Now all that makes total sense. For now, I'm just gonna take everything and anything, because at this point, you probably don't need it. What, you got something to say? Huh? Nothing? Nothing, nothing? Alright, so, let me see here. Don't wait on me. I'll head back to Fallbrook in a spell. Trust me, I was never gonna wait for you. Come on. I do like getting all of these stuff, though. I'm just... I know, I know. It's like, bro, you got all this stuff. Why do you need more? Better to be safe than sorry. You all got different Saltuna here on Monarch. Ain't that neat? You come to Monarch and that's what you're excited about. You ought to get out more. I'm getting out right now. Leave her alone, Yoka. What do you expect, bro? Like, she's been in Edgewater all her life. What do you expect? Hello there. A word, if I may be so bold? Yeah, go ahead. I was about to ask you anyways. Well, now. Here I thought those mantisaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. 
Name's Weston. Every once in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Not right now, thanks. So you were just standing there, trying to shop. Like dead ass? I already picked him out, Queen. You can't find him. You can't find anything on that body. Thanks again, stranger. Care to purchase a thing or two? No, thank you. All right, so let's head on to the outpost. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Good West to know. Still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. All right. Thanks for the tip, Nyoka. Let me see how we're going to get in here. Ah, oh, there's so much fucking creatures here. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Hopefully we'll be able to, like, clear all this out because this is just too much. Too much bullshit. Oh, this is intense. What the hell? I would literally cry if I had to deal with these types of monsters in real life. Like, why? Oh, shit! I love how this piece of shit is just chilling there. Como si na. Come on. Come on. Damn, I am using mad, um, come on, bro, this is, this is intense, I don't know if I can, like, oh, they are following me, this is not good, I don't know what to do, I really do not know what to do, like, Is, is this working? Oh, it's working. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep going then. This is intense, but fuck it. If my little rifle rifle. gun penetrated through, then I'm gonna use it. So, note to self, this gun is definitely... Definitely a creature killer. All right, so let me see here. We're doing good so far, and we got in here just in time. The outpost access. Let's run. All right, this is it right here, I guess. All right, so code here. Oh, <gasps> we got in. All right, moment of truth. Let's find any information and supplies and see what really happened with the massacre. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you next week.